hello welcome back to my channel civil ka arda 1m if you have not subscribed to my channel please do subscribe to my channel civil ka arda 1m and hit the bell icon to get the notifications in this video i would like to explain about the structure of tree so what is meant by the structure of tree so what all the various things we can see if we uh, cut a tree and see completely onto it the cross section so how it looks and what all the various parts it will have and all that details we are going to learn in this video so structure of tree from the visibility aspect the structure of a tree can be divided into two categories and the first one is macro structure and second one is microstructure so when we are seeing a particular tree so that visibility aspect we can we can uh, have two categories so we have two categories the macro structure and the micro structure so what is meant by macro structure so the structure of wood visible to the naked eye if just if you are seeing the tree so what are all the things we can see with our naked eye that is the macro structure not in detail things not with the microscope just with our naked eye what all we can see that is the macro structure so the structure of word visible to the naked eye or at a small magnification is called macro structure so then what is meant by the micro structure so micro structure means the structure of wood apparent only at great magnifications is called micro structure so under microscope it becomes evident that the wood consists of living and lead cells of various sizes and shapes so we cannot see the in details of a, a, st a structure of tree when we are seeing it with our own naked eye so if we are seeing it with magnifications and more details will be knowing so that is the micro structure so moving on to the structure of tree how it looks so this is tree if we cut a tree if we cut a tree and look at looking at to that structure how it looks if we cut the tree and then if we see it will look like this so this is the structure of tree it is the cross section of the tree so the, if we cut a tree in this way and if we see here these all things we can see so this is the cross section of a tree so how in buildings if we want to uh, when we are drawing the diagrams the building of a structure if we want to do if we want to know the cross section of it what all is there so then if we cut into some particular if we want to know what all there in the wall if we cut that wall the cross section we can see the what all materials used in that wall right so like that if we cut here these things are there on the tree so we'll be knowing now what is meant by the pith outer bark hardwood sapwood cambium layer annular ring inner bark medullary rings so all these are the various parts of the structure of tree so this all details about this we are going to see now so pith so this is the innermost central portion or core of the tree is called pith or medulla so this is the innermost central portion so if we have a, a tree structure like this cross section so the innermost central part the innermost central part is known as medulla or pith i will show in the diagram this one so this is the pith so this is the pith it is the central most part and moving to the heartwood the inner annular ring surrounded the pith is known as heartwood so the inner annular rings so these are the annular rings so the inner annular rings are known as the heartwood so only the inner not the outer 
so only inner so the inner annular ring surrounding the pith is known as heart wood so it imparts rigidity to tree so this is the main uh, heart of a tree so it it will have more strength so it imparts rigidity to tree so this is not that active part in the growth of a tree heartwood but it is very important thing it imparts rigidity to tree and it is the inner it is the part where the inner annular ring surrounded the pith so this is the pith and the annular rings which are surrounded are known as heart wood so see here so these are the heart wood so moving to the next one sap wood see the outer annular rings the outer annular rings between heart wood between the heart wood and cambium layer between the heartwood and cambium layer so let me show here so this is the cambium layer i'll explain what is meant by cambium layer and this is the heartwood so the outer annular rings between heartwood and cambium layer is known as sapwood so the between annular rings this annular rings are known as the sap wood from this portion to this portion so outer annular ring of heart wood till cambium layer so this between annular rings are known as sap wood what is meant by cambium layer now so thin layer of sap between sap wood and inner bark so yeah, now you know the sap wood so here this is the heart wood and here these are the sap wood till the cambium layer so cambium layer means what thin layer of sap between the sap wood and inner bark let me show here so this is the inner bark and this is the sap wood and this is the cambium layer so this moisture content fluid so this is known as cambium layer so it is in between sap wood and inner bark so this is the inner bark and this is the sap wood so it is lying in between sap wood and inner bark so this is sap wood and this is the inner bark so in between that it is a cambium layer so moving on to the inner bark now what is meant by inner bark so the inner skin or layer covering the cambium layer is known as inner bark so the layer which is covering the cambium layer is known as the inner bark so we know that in between sap wood and inner bark we have the cambium layer so the layer which is covering this cambium layer is known as the inner bark so the layer which is covering this cambium layer is known as inner bark so what is outer bark so the outer skin or cover of the tree is known as outer bark so inner bark is just above the cambium layer which is covering the cambium layer and where is outer bark is the outermost part outermost layer so the outer skin or outer cover of the tree is known as the outer bark so see here so this outer layer is known as the outer bark so inner layer is known as the inner bark which is just covering the cambium layer and outermost layer is known as the outer bark so now moving to the medullary rays so the thin radial fibers extending from pith to cambium layer are known as medullary rays so the thin radial fibers extending from pith to cambium layer are known as medullary rays so this rays which are extending from pith to cambium layer 
this these are known as medullary rays and this medullary rays function is to hold together the annular rings of heartwood and sapwood so we know the annular rings here so annular rings of heartwood and sapwood so that will make in contact it will make together so it is like bond medullary rings medullary rings will hold this annular ring so now what is mean by annular rings so annular rings are circular rings around pith one such ring is added every year so annular ring denotes the age of the tree and its specific uh, and its spacing so its spacing is closer near heartwood and increases towards cambium layer so these are the circular rings so see here annular rings are the circular rings these all circular rings are known as annular rings so these annular rings will add year by year so for one year one annular ring will be added to this tree and another year another annual ring will be added to this so each and every year one one annular rings will be increasing so the age of the tree can be find Finded out by the annular rings, number of the annular rings. So there are circular rings around pith, and one such ring is added every year. Annular rings denote the age of the tree, and its spacing is closer near sapwood. See here, it is closer near sapwood, and it is farther in the sorry, it is closer near heartwood, and it is farther in the sapwood. so it is increasing the spacing is increasing towards this cambium layer so here it will be spacing will be small and here it will be more so it is extending its spacing towards this sapwood so that is known as the annular rings so this is the structure of tree so you can expect the uh, different questions from the structure of tree in the competitive exams of civil engineering they may ask that the uh, the the ring which is around the pith is known as what or else the age of the structure will be known by which option a annular rings medullary rings inner bark outer bark like that or else the what is uh, cambium layer is between sapwood or uh, sapwood and inner bark and uh, option b it will heartwood and sapwood so c medullary rings are outer bark or inner bark outer bark like that the options will vary and you can choose the it is in between the sapwood and inner bark so the cambium layer is in between sapwood and inner bark so like that different types of questions may also expect in this competitive exams of civil engineering and already in previous question papers i have seen the a number of questions are asked uh, from this topic too so thank you thank you for watching the video till the end and if you have like the video like share comment and subscribe to my channel civil ka adda 1m and don't forget to share to your friends and hit the bell icon to get the notification so that I, if i put the video the notification will comes to you so that you will not miss any video thank you thank you all